Just from what I've heard, it sounds like he just did a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything and everything good. Johnny O'Brien was a renaissance man. He was just a natural, natural athlete. He starred for the Seattle U basketball team along with his twin brother Eddie in the early 1950s. He was drafted to the NBA, but traded the sneakers for spikes and played Major League Baseball for seven years. In 1960, he made his homecoming and played for the Seattle Rainiers. Fast forward 62 years, and it's his grandson now suiting up for the hometown team. That was incredible. It was very cool to get that call. Riley's now setting out to write his own Seattle story, one that started at Shorewood High School. For my senior year, we were we were really good all uh, regular season. I think we started the year 16-0. The team's success didn't lead to much individual recognition for Riley, which led him to start college baseball at Everett Community College. He said at that point, he felt his career was at a crossroads. It's kind of in my head and stuff and wasn't consistent. Only, only had a few innings my sophomore year and kind of thought I was done with baseball. But that's when College of Idaho came calling. They saw something in the right arm of Riley. Pretty much just had to relearn how to throw a strike and then go from there. And they were very supportive of that. They were helpful. And Junior year was good, and then senior year, things kind of clicked and ended up getting drafted. The former Shorewood Storm Ray started his pro career with the Tampa Bay Rays, made his MLB debut with the Reds, and came home last year. Through one inning last year up in Seattle and had a bunch of family there, and it was an incredible experience. His grandfather got to witness the entire journey. Riley said it was a team effort. Kind of just feels like we're all in it together, like one big family. 